Hello and welcome to a video in which I will be showing you how to put a bipod on your rifle. To do this you will need a few things, you will need a power drill, um, you will need a set of uh, sling studs, um, they are available online, and you will need a bipod, you can get these from Amazon or, or eBay, I'll provide some links down below in the description for you. Now with your sling studs, what you're going to need is you're going to need the shorter of the two, because they'll generally come in a two-pack. And uh, if you're fixing a bipod to the front of your rifle, like I imagine many of you are, um, the shorter one is what you will need. Now as you can see in the picture, they come with a little uh, washer. In this case it's the uh, little white bit of plastic on the set that I have, and you need to make sure that you don't lose that. To install your bipod you'll need quite a comprehensive set of very small drill bits because you'll need to be drilling pilot holes and then enlarging it. And what you want to do is you'll need to uh, measure how long the uh, thread is on your shorter sling stud and you'll want to mark off on your drill bit that measurement so that you don't drill too deep. Once you've marked up your drill bits it's time to take your rifle out of its stock. Um, this will work for air rifles and any other rifles or firearms that you might want to add a bipod to. Um, what you're going to want to do is take it out and then you're going to want to mark up with some tape, masking tape or white electrical tape works fine, where you want to drill the hole. Now you're going to want to use a ruler or some calipers to uh, find the correct place and then you just mark it with some pencil or a pen on your tape and you'll create a little cross for yourself. Now lay out your stock securely and with a nail it might be worth just breaking the surface so that you have no slippage when you start drilling. A nail and a hammer is perfect for this task. And then you're ready to drill. I recommend a 1mm drill bit for the uh, first hole. Now make sure you're drilling perpendicular to the um, angle of the bottom of your stock rather than the um, top because you're not installing the bipod on the top, you're installing the bipod on the bottom. Now back out regularly as required, this is a hardwood stock as I imagine most of yours will be as well, so you might get the drill bit stuck occasionally if necessary just uh, back out, try again, clamp your drill back down mine was running low on battery at this point and here I am just pulling the drill bit out and wiping away the dust. Now you're going to want to drill down with your 1mm drill bit until you reach that little white line you've created for yourself at the correct depth. Now once you've changed up to a bigger drill bit you can start drilling. It should go in a little bit easier but remember to back out quite often because you'll have a lot of uh, hardwood sawdust and such that will need to come out. Now that's just fine right there. And when you're ready move up to a bigger drill bit still. I think the largest I went with this was 3.5mm and that's uh, just, just under the uh, thread size or around the thread, so the thread diameter, I guess, of the sling studs. With my largest drill, but I didn't worry about taping up because you can feel and hear when it bottoms out at the bottom of the existing hole. This is just to widen it out a little bit. Once that's done, you're going to want to uh, put your little stud in and start twisting it in with the Allen key that probably came with your bipod. Uh, I used the cheap Chinese one from Amazon. And you're going to make sure you get it nice and tight, and don't forget to put the washer on. But you're going to want to make sure that you have the holes facing outwards, because that's how your bipod will attach. There will be two little rods that you'll need to position in line with the holes in your sling stud, and then you want to turn the little knob on your bipod so that it tightens up. And once you've got it finger tight, you can use the Allen key, there'll be a little slot in the center, um, and you can use that to tighten it further so that it doesn't come loose during use. And that's it, you're done! Your bipod is now attached. If you fold down the legs, which should be underneath the uh, barrel, if you put it on the wrong way, no worries, you can just take it off and put it back on the correct way. And uh, 
we're done. I hope you're happy with the results. If you have any questions, feel free to post down in the comments below. If you liked the video, feel free to like it. And if you really liked it, feel free to subscribe to see my future content. Goodbye.